trying to kill the guy. Who comes outside. Hello? Who torments me now? Set him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. Uh oh. Maybe you need to get closer. How about? Do you hear that? No. Do you hear that? Don't move, outsider. <laughs> Maybe I just... I don't Be able to get much further down here without being seen. Jesus. Uh, got the key, but he still doesn't want to come out. Oh, wait, I can't go in there. Hello? Man, his voice so sounds like pizza. Maybe I go in. Something outside must have set him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. Must be Ramona's. Why am I getting vertigo? I will not do as you ask. Never. The poor wretch has lost his mind. I don't know. It's unlocked. God, that was so fucking loud. An old ship's log marked with the name Obed Marshall. A oh, what? A journal? Ship logs from Obid Marsh. Still en route to China. Um. 
fishing long to interest for the supplies. The islanders are not interested in trading for gold, for which they have apparently a great quantity. I asked after its source. In hopes of milling operation on shore. In response to my questioning, I was taken to a, a smaller island nearby and shown some stone ruins. Apparently of great antiquity. The, the designs carved upon them are like nothing I have ever seen in all my travels. This, they say, is the city of sea gods, who can be prevailed upon to give them gold for the asking. I suspect it, it is a remnant of a higher civilization, now lost. The natives evidently find gold among the ruins. I questioned the island's chief elders at length about the ruins, and was answered with the retelling of legends so savage and fantastic that I wonder at them. Scholarship. I impressed upon the crew the need for absolute silence about this island, for if word were to get out, others would be sure to go there. Shortly before our departure, Chief Wallachia made me a gift of several small metal discs, evidently of the same workmanship as the ruins. By means of these, and certain chants, he said, the sea gods could be summoned and induced to bring their gifts. Four. Revisiting the mysterious island, we could find no trace of the people with whom we have traded for so many years. Their villages are razed to the ground and no trace can be found of them. It appears that some other tribe has attacked and destroyed them. A day searching among the ruins availed us nothing, although certain of the crew were troubled by nightmares subsequently. Uh, without profit, and we must return to Innsmouth with both hands and pockets empty. A most troubling turn of events. The town has come to rely on us and the gold that we bring back. To make up for the trade that was lost when the war of 1812 ended, what shall become of our home port now and us along with it? August. I happened upon the strange metal disc given to me by old Wallachia and his people. I had quite forgotten them and the stories he told about the gold bearing gods from the sea. But now an idea is stirring within me. I do not know whether to embrace it as Innsmouth's last hope, or to concede that desperation has driven me insane. Am I mad? The gold we brought from the island was real enough. Perhaps the sea gods are real also. A sailor to far ports sees many strange things and learns to keep an open mind. After much effort in recollection, I have remembered the chants Wallachia taught me. Tonight I shall row out to Devil's Reef and try them, along with the disc. Perhaps the sea gods will save us, or if not, I shall acknowledge my folly and retire to the asylum. Later that night. Sea gods are real. I have seen them and spoken with them. I carry some of their gold, a token of more to come, I am assured. But the price? Yet can any price be too high when one's home is at stake? Innsmouth shall rise again. Click. This is. Wait, is this a year? No, 1838 August. Well, this is a few years, okay. This is a day of crisis for Innsmouth. I and those loyal to me have been seized and thrown in jail by our pious neighbours. 
Ready enough to join to enjoy the prosperity I have returned to the town. They scruple at the means I use and the power I wield. They must be taught a lesson. I have no idea the powers they seek to defy. The terrible bargain I made was irrevocable, and by locking me up, they bring great peril to the town. The very town that they would save from my influence. Well, as, sh as surely as I know, the morning tide will rise. I know that those from the reef will come to Ismith. They will come in search of those things I have been prevented from giving them, and they will come to punish those who have prevented it. There will be great destruction. 1846 will be recorded in the town's annuals as a year of unparalleled calamity. Was the beginning of a new age, an age in which no threat to our pact is tolerated. From this year on, I shall play the tyrant, and my descendants shall do so after me. But we do so to avert a greater evil. <laughs> 